What's up, school fans, and welcome to a very exclusive content. Hari ini, gue datang ke press conference dari Pita Jaya Bakri untuk sosialisasi tentang Basketball Champions League. Bagi yang belum tahu, Pita Jaya Bakri dan juga Prawira Harum Badung nanti akan mewakili Indonesia untuk Basketball Champions League yang akan dimulai awal April nanti di Mongolia. Dan hari ini, surprise, surprise, Pelita Jaya akan memperkenalkan dua pemain baru, guys. Gila, gue shock sih. Jujur gue gak tahu ada dua pemain baru hari ini. Yang pertama, from Tacoma, Washington, former Dallas Mavericks, namanya adalah Jaquari McLaughlin. Dan the second name, ini yang gue udah tahu dan gue bener-bener excited banget untuk nonton dia. Dan gue pun juga shock dengan bisa datangnya pemain ini yang menurut gue probably Pemain yang paling terkenal di Southeast Asia yaitu Justin Brownlee, man. Gila, gue bener-bener shock banget, man. Pas tahu kalau Pita Jaya akan sign dia untuk IBL dan juga untuk BCL. So, we are very blessed, guys. Very blessed untuk bisa nonton Justin Brownlee. So, ya itu aja sedikit opening dari gue. Nanti kalian bisa mendapatkan semoga banyak informasi juga tentang BCL dan juga hopefully we can interview, uh, we can have an interview with Justin Brownlee later on. So once again guys, thank you so much for always supporting this channel. Jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk comment, and enjoy the content guys. Oke, okay. selamat sore semua. Uh, selain kita announce Pemain impor baru, sebetulnya saya juga baru di Britania ya. Teman-teman, uh, terima kasih sudah hadir. Terima kasih Suso, Pak Junas, Pak Eda, Budita, Pak Alex Indo, dan uh, beberapa kawan-kawan lain. Sekarang uh, kita mendapatkan kabar baik ini dari Perbasi, di mana FIBA di tahun ini ingin men-shift uh, fokus mereka memperkuat market club di mana memfokuskan pertandingan antar klub level internasional. Gitu. Jadi setelah difinalkan format BCL Asia ini dapatlah karena uh, numbers of tim di Indonesia ini banyak profesional tim jadi Indonesia kedapatan dua slot kebetulan final musik lalu itu Prawira dan Pita Jaya jadi uh, yang qualified ke BCL di musim ini adalah kami berdua begitu. lalu skema dari uh, BCL Asia ini akan ada dua ronde ronde pertama upcoming di tanggal 3 sampai 4 April di Ulan Batar, Mongolia akan e, bertanding tim, dua tim dari Mongolia itu finalis e, dari Mongolian League satu tim dari Thailand, satu tim dari Malaysia, satu tim dari Singapura dan e, dua tim dari Indonesia Oke. kalau ada yang kurang dan, oh, dan satu tim dari Hong Kong gitu. dan nanti itu ronde pertama akan diambil empat tim untuk bermain di ronde kedua ronde kedua kebetulan dari Perbasi berhasil untuk mendapatkan slot tuan rumah jadi tuan rumahnya akan di Jakarta di akhir April tanggal 23 sampai 27 rencananya di nanti kita nanti mungkin bisa banyak sesuatu rencana yang lain di mana tapi itu itu BCL Asia qualifying round setelah dari sana dari Jakarta akan diambil top two team jadi siapa yang masuk ke final round di eh, sorry yang top two di di Jakarta akan advance lagi ke sesi BCL Asia BCL Asia ini akan ada satu tim dari China satu tim dari Filipina, Jepang, Korea dan dua dari Middle East lokasi dan waktunya itu belum ditentukan tetapi uh, arah kompetisi atau, atau competition journey nya itu seperti itu 
Dan untuk teman-teman yang nanti akan nanya, oh kenapa ada dua pemain asing lagi? Karena di BCL Asia ini, atau di BCL, satu tim diperbolehkan memiliki lima pemain impor tanpa batasan, jadi no restriction, high restriction, uh, dan tanpa batasan uh, gaji, tanpa batasan apapun, uh, dan saat game day, saat game day itu hanya boleh tiga yang masuk ke roster. Jadi dari lima ini tiga yang masuk roster dan dua at a time di lapangan. Skemanya uh, mirip seperti IDR, gitu. Dan di BCL ini kami hanya diperbolehkan mengganti satu kali uh, pemain asing. Jadi uh, kurang lebih seperti itu uh, untuk BCL Asia dan roster kami in total bisa uh, 20 long list dan nanti saat-saat uh, ronde di game akan 12 jadi untuk kawan-kawan yang bertanya-tanya kenapa penambahan ya karena di inisial Asia ini kita bisa lima begitu uh, mungkin itu oke okay. Pak Tony ada pernah dari Pak Niko Pak Niko mau menambahkan ya uh, menambahkan dari statement Jeremy uh, kenapa ada dua import hmm. kita juga di sini untuk BCL dan IDL kita treat equal artinya kita mau berangkat dengan tim yang memang benar-benar kita harus bisa lolos ke uh, ronde selanjutnya jadi uh, maksud saya di sini adalah Berita Jaya uh, sangat antusias sekali uh, menghadapi BCL ini bukan hanya untuk mau berangkat-berangkat aja gitu jadi artinya pemain-pemain uh, yang memang ada di Pita Jaya yang memang uh, core-nya juga akan berangkat beserta penambahan dari Jaguari dan uh, Brownlee gitu. jadi memang uh, sebenarnya dari dulu mengimpi juga gitu yang namanya ada Liga Champions League kayak di bola kan ada ya jadi eh, panggung Indonesia itu sungguh sangat luas banget internasionalnya, apalagi dengan aturan-aturan main asing yang enggak ada high restriction, enggak ada salary cap dan lain-lain itu kan berarti chance kita cukup bermain bagus. Jadi eh, apapun itu untuk basket Indonesia kita sih eh, pasti akan eh, ya berdarah-darah ayo gitu ya. Eh, pokoknya kita mencoba untuk memberikan yang eh, paling baik lah untuk eh, kita semua. Jadi uh, makanya saya lagi tadi saya highlight mohon dukungannya apalagi teman-teman media mau dukung dengan cara apapun silahkan mau podcast mau Instagram mau komen apapun itu saya senang banget yang penting kita sama-sama jadi satu kritik dan semuanya kita terima dan sebagai masukan terima kasih uh, jadi mudah-mudahan doain aja kita bisa lancar berangkat ke bulan Batar tanggal 3 sampai tanggal 7 eh tanggal 8 dapat hasil kita bisa second round dan kita ketemu lagi di Indonesia amin itu cukup sekian terima kasih dari saya terima kasih selamat itu juga Pak Jerby selanjutnya mungkin kita ke uh, oke okay. uh, terima kasih selamat sore terima kasih atas kesempatan yang diberikan iya uh, challenge ini adalah gimana mengatur program recovery nya itu yang paling penting karena Uh, kalau kita tidak atur dengan bagus, ini sangat efek dengan penampilan para pemain. Ya, kita dari Indo kita berangkat ke sana itu perjalanan yang cukup panjang. Ya, lo itu pertama long trip ya. So benar-benar harus bisa kita atur uh, program recovery-nya. Yang kedua adalah perbedaan suhunya. Uh, kita akan bermain di kapital yang terdiri yang ada di dunia ini yang tertinggi yang ada di dunia kita ini panas saat itu dingin, nah, itu menjadi satu challenging yang lain lagi bagaimana kita mempersiapkan itu pemain untuk menghadapi situasi-situasi uh, seperti begitu nah itu sih yang paling concern-concern yang paling mendasar dari situ kalau dari segi taktik, teknik uh, saya percaya uh, pemain yang kita punya tidak bisa pasti bisa Uh, apa uh, mengeksekusi cuma faktor-faktor itu tuh perbedaan itu yang menurut saya 
Uh, karena saya juga pernah ke bulan Batam, jadi waktu itu uh, dengan Asia uh, under 18 waktu itu, ya, sana itu perbedaan jauh banget, jauh banget gitu loh, ya. Uh, pemain kita tidak terbiasa kejar dengan suhu dingin di sana, apalagi kalau sekarang kuat itu belum minus gitu loh, masih dia kalau ketemu itu lagi, ya, itulah challenge-nya di situ, di mana kita adaptasi. Nah, sekarang minus 10, sekarang itu minus 10, jadi itu challenge yang terbesar. Oke, okay, program recovery dan adaptasi kita terhadap nanti suhu udara di situ. Mudah-mudahan dia pakai heater. Oke. Okay. Nah, kalau dia pakai heater, kita baik-baik aja kita berarti. Oke, okay, baik. Thank you, Pak Sam. We know you're, uh, you speak to Dallas Mavericks, G Leagues, and also uh, the experience of new experience playing for Peter Jaya. How is it going to be, man? I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited to play with the group of guys that we have on this team. Uh, being in this city is a big time for me. Uh, so just bringing my talent to this team and uh, you know, trying to win every game. Trying to, trying to win a BCL championship. Big for me, so. You met your teammates. How are they so far? Any challenges, communication, or all good? No, everything's been pretty good so far. I'm going to get those names down. But, uh, <laughs> you know, my first practice has been good. Yeah. Guys, uh, play well together, play super hard, which I really like that. So I think our team should be really good. All right, thank you very much, Roy. Brownlee, uh, we checked uh, a couple of minutes ago before we start. Uh, you played in the Philippines so many years, won a lot of medals for MVP players, and now you made a choice to play for the club in Jakarta. How was that? Was that a a hard decision to move to Jakarta? Uh, not at all, man. No. I'm familiar with uh, the basketball here. Um, uh, hate to bring you up with last year. Uh, so I'm familiar with the yeah. basketball. Uh, I um, enjoy watching the team play. Um, really good players. And, you know, uh, like you were saying, you know, everybody is uh, very welcoming and um, easy to get along with. So I'm just excited for the opportunity to be here. I heard uh, the fans and you know, the people who really love basketball here, so we're just ready to, you know, um, enjoy the ride. We're going to play at the BCL. How's that going to be? Because we're going to be playing also for another country. So how's that, uh, your preparation? Uh, it's been good practice so far. Um, I'm excited to play. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the BCL. Okay. Um, but I'm definitely familiar with, um, you know, the basketball here in Asia. So um, I think it's going to be a great opportunity. All right. Okay. Uh, dalam mempersiapkan kita menghadapi dua liga sebenarnya kita tidak terlalu banyak e, kendala yang kita lakukan ya kita latihan seperti biasa semua pemain ada di lapangan semua kita latih hal yang sama dengan sistem yang sama kita tidak mempersiapkan oh nanti IBL e, we play this system and then BCL we play different system no we just play one system uh, everybody uh, practice the same and then uh, kalau kita nanti yang paling penting di sini kan kita e, tetap kita mau perform di IBL, tetap kita juga mau perform di BCL. Dan di situ adalah kita sudah bicara gimana skema kita untuk divide e, di e, situasinya mana yang harus kita main ke BCL, mana yang kita harus ke IBL. Karena yang kita mesti pertimbangkan seperti yang saya bilang lagi faktor recovery-nya ya atau karena tidak gampang bermain di sana mesti balik langsung masuk langsung ke IBL lagi kayak gitu itu sangat-sangat uh, challenging jadi di sini kita benar-benar uh, semuanya dulu sama-sama kita membicarakan mana yang terbaik untuk kita gitu dan tetap kita target ya seperti kalau filosofi buat yang sudah sudah tahu setiap game saya mau menang di setiap game setiap main saya mau menang itu aja jadi kita berharap kita dengan uh, situasi seperti itu kita bisa expand ke second round kalau bagi bagi pemain asing, entah dulu. Nanti lawan tahu kalau kita sebutin di sini. Jadi tahan dulu aja. Nanti mendekati misial Asia kita mau pergi, kita akan announce 12 itu. 12 nya yang pasti akan ada tiga impor. Tiga impornya dari mana? Dari lima yang tadi ada di list. Gitu. Iya. Yeah. Jadi untuk naturalisasi masuk ke slot 5 itu. Hmm. Jadi dari dari uh, FIBA sudah FIBA apa Asia untuk naturalisasi masuk ke slot 5. Ya. 
Jawa itu pemain lokal. Oke. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm gonna ask a question to Jeremy. <laughs> As we all know that Justin Brownlee, he thought he has a lifetime contract with Ginebra. Uh, <laughs> we all we all shocked that he decided to come here uh, for Betajaya. Just how did you convince Ginebra <laughs> to release this guy? And of course, how long was the process to get him to get to Betajaya? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm sure you have the answer, Brownlee. We, we want to answer the, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we How do you convince them to yeah. come to Indonesia? We want to answer fakely or real? <laughs> real. <laughs> yeah, so, so I believe this is a fun fact. So since the late 80s, uh, Mr. Adas Bakri uh, father is good friend with uh, Raymond Ayn, the owner of Indiana. So back in the 80s, Rita Jaya used to scrimmage or have a training camp in Manila. So the, the relationship uh, was built from a long time ago. That's why when we reach out, I think it only took us what? One, one month? One and a half month? Was coffee? Maybe, maybe less. One week. <laughs> one week. Yeah, maybe one week. <laughs> one week. Yeah, because there's a lot of things happening. So yeah, with, with, with that, uh, he, Ginebra is also uh, familiar with Pitajaya and uh, all the scheduling, all the programs are aligned uh, and it's our honor to, uh, to become good uh, friends with Ginebra and especially uh, landing Justin Browning. It's, it's, uh, we really, really, really appreciate you trusting us and Ginebra trusting us also. Kalau buat saya sendiri sih challenge-nya ya kita buta akan lawan nih. Karena kalau di IBL kan kita preparation-nya kita udah sering nonton sering nonton apa e, nonton game-game e, lawan kita gitu. Kita belajar dari situ tiap game lawan ini kita belajar ini kebiasaan dia kayak gini 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 segala macam dan dari coach, dari coaching staff udah ngeracik itu gimana tuh gimana kita defense-nya terus gimana kita offense-nya. Cuma kalau di sini Uh, kita sebagai pemain juga harus mulai muter otak di lapang gitu. harus bisa cepat baca gamenya kayak misalnya mungkin pemain ini kalau antek ke kanan dia ya udah dia berani tanjak atau ke kiri mungkin pull up nah itu harus bisa cepat cepat tahu gitu kebiasaan kebiasaan lawannya itu aja sih kalau saya sih challenge baru aja gitu karena kita benar benar buta akan lawannya gitu beberapa tim ya gitu. kalau kayak Thailand tadi kata Pak Ipa kita udah bisa keraba raba lah dikit mereka sempat ketemu juga di Asia Cup Oke, okay. di IBL kan memang sudah termasuk tim yang paling mewah lah ya, uh, apa uh, PJ ini selain dewa ya, <laughs> <laughs> karena ada orang dewanya di sini. Maksud saya, um, mendatangkan pemain mantan Dallas Mavericks ini uh, seperti apa sih ceritanya? Tiba ini kan singkat, kok bisa mendatangkan uh, uh, seorang apa pemain bintang gitu ya di, yeah. di sananya gitu. Uh, Kalau boleh tahu bocorannya ya harganya berapa gitu misalnya atau kisaran gitu. Uh, ya kenapa yang dipilih mereka berdua ini untuk apa untuk tampil di BCA gitu? Apa hmm. apa sih uh, ini emang kebutuhan tim seperti itu apa? Mungkin kota yang bisa menjelaskan emang untuk kebutuhan mereka atau bagaimana gitu? Terima kasih. Terima kasih atas pertanyaannya. Uh, untuk untuk keseriusan ya kembali lagi dengan dengan kita memang mengcapitalize slot yang mereka siapkan dengan lima import jadi kita uh, ada penambahan itu plus uh, dari Mister MVP juga kita akan turunkan di BCL itu menunjukkan uh, keseriusan kita itu satu masalah berdarah darah itu lebih ke kita akan berdarah kita akan uh, terus fight demi Uh, bisa menjaga dan bisa membanggakan nama Indonesia di kancah Asia gitu sih. Jadi lebih ke sana. Soal mahalnya pemain dan nggak mahalnya pemain itu relatif. Gitu. Uh, asalkan uh, kualitas dan 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 bisa merepresentasikan menjadi pemain kita jaya uh, yang bisa kembali lagi 
membanggakan untuk Indonesia di kancah Asia. Kalau ceritanya Jekari, uh, he will know how, how we can get you to play. Uh, jadi sekitar awal bulan, saya berangkat ke Seattle, saya samperin uh, Mas Jekari ini di kampungnya, di Seattle, di Tacoma. Uh, lalu ada kita kenalan, meeting, uh, dan dia ada present workout. Uh, buat saya, uh, buat Berita Jaya, dan ya akhirnya memang ya jodoh, jadi ya itu bisa bermain untuk kita. Berita Jaya selalu gitu, kita selalu kasih personal touch, kayak tadi Mas Rocky bilang, Mas Rocky dia heran, Justin Dolly bisa tangan tangan nama kita gitu. Jadi kita selalu kasih personal touch uh, untuk mendapatkan pemain, dan kita rasa dengan kita kenal lebih dalam ke pemain tersebut, uh, kualitas di lapangan yang kita uh, dapatkan akan jauh lebih baik gitu. Alright, now we are here with Jacory McLaughlin. Sir. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you, bro. How you been, man? Been good, been good. I heard you just got here like two nights ago. Yup. How's the jet lag, bro? Um, yesterday I was pretty tired. I'm good now though. Got a good night's sleep, so you know, transition good. I am excited, man. We got another Washington guy. Yes, sir. In this country, bro. Downtown. Yes, sir. Tacoma, yeah. Washington. Yeah, yeah. Bro, how, can you just talk about how you embraced this opportunity, you know, playing for Plita Jaya? Yeah, uh, I reached out to my agent. Uh, I thought it was a good opportunity. The guys we have on the team already, the coaching staff, and then playing in the BCO, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to, to get better. So. Before we continue, shout out to our boy Dominic Williams. Dom! <laughs> Damn well. Sir, big yeah, man. Hey, I used to go to the ITS event in the yeah. summer. What is it called? Uh, I go to crossover, and then IT got his own. I yeah, forgot. Yeah, his tournament. Yeah, he got his tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Zeke. Zeke and yeah, that's always dope, though. Yeah, always fun. Yeah, man. Did you ever play in the crossover or Zeke? Nah, no, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. Come on, dumb. Come on, dumb. <laughs> get my get man in, in dumb. I've been hurt the, the, the past couple summers while I was at college. Yeah, okay, so Jeremy said that you guys held a private workout. How did you get in contact though, with Plito Jaya, and you know how did that work? What did they make make you do during the workout? Yeah, it was uh, my agent. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my agent said they were they were interested, and then he wanted to watch me do a workout. So uh, I pretty much just ran the workout. My, my brothers helped me run the workout, and uh, we kind of just did our own thing. A lot of shootings and runnings. Yep. yep. <laughs> did he kill you? Nah, 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 good, nah, good, yeah. And yeah, um, for a lot of people that haven't heard your name before, so you play in uh, UC Santa Barbara? Yeah, from college. Yeah, and yeah. college, and then you play in New Zealand. Yeah, well, I, out of college, I signed a two-way with Dallas Mavericks, mm -hmm. and then my second year, I played uh, with the G League Warriors team, and then this past summer, I played eight games in New Zealand. So I got, uh, like, okay, two-way with the Dallas Mavericks. So you got a chance to practice with Luca? Yep, Luca, Jalen Brunson, some good guards, Trey Burke. Yep. Oh, during those days, during the JV days with Luca, wow! So do you get what? Uh, did you get a chance to like practice and go match up with them during practice? Yeah, yep, yep. How was that experience? And can you tell us the story? It was cool just playing playing guys like that. Uh, you want to learn as much as you can from them. So uh, Luca, JB. I would say the biggest thing was just watching those guys compete mm -hmm. on that level was, was different for me. I've never seen that, um, especially with a player of Luca's talent. So the things he would do on the court were just crazy. I, I know one day after practice, we were playing one-on-one, -on -one, me, him, and uh, another two-way guy, Eugene. And like, I thought I was playing good defense, but... <laughs> you just make a shot, just crazy shot. shot. <laughs> yeah, so it was tough, tough to guard him. So. Man, that's crazy though. You, not a lot of people get a chance. <laughs> to see Luca that close, bro. Sure, sure, you know, sure. that's crazy. So, New Zealand, how was that experience? It was cool. Uh, good basketball over there. Play super aggressive, strong guys, high Q. Uh, so, it was, a, it was a cool experience for me. And if we could know a little bit about your game, 
Uh, can you tell us about your game? You like you yeah. like a shooter, like. For me, uh, the biggest thing I was playing is just being a, a floor general. Okay, point guard. Yeah, point guard. Uh, guy is going to make his teammates better. Mm -hmm. uh, know what's going on in the game. Uh, you know, kind of be a coach on the floor. That's the biggest thing. And then, and then just a winner. Wanting to win every single game. That's the biggest thing for me. Yeah, man. Man, you guys gonna win, man. You guys gonna win a lot of games. <laughs> you see your teammates? <laughs> no, yeah, sure. I said we got a great group of guys, and I think we're gonna gel really good. So, so have, Dusseldorf is not that far from here, actually. It's like yeah, it's, it's not, like seven yeah, hour flight. Seen down the map. Yeah. Right? So, so you've been to this part of the world. Yeah. But for you, as a player that play overseas, what is the most challenging things? Uh, I say. You know, just to the game. Especially you're still bit. young, right? Yeah, just to the game a little bit. The biggest thing is just getting used to the time and everything like that. Long flight, so I think early, that's the, that's the main thing, getting your body right. But after that, it's just hoop. You know, we just hooping out here, so that's the biggest thing. So, myself. I know you just got here for two days. Do you have any routines yet for your day today in, in, in Jakarta? I mean, just get get working on the court. That's it. Um, this morning we got we got a good workout in, and, and that's the biggest thing for me. Just getting better every single day. What do you need before practice? Like coffee? Nah. <laughs> no, you good? <laughs> game days. I always take a nap on game days. That's, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's part of my routine. So far, what's your first impression of Jakarta? I like it. It's a huge city. I didn't know it was gonna be this big. It's, it's huge. A lot of people out here, uh, but everyone's been super nice, super helpful. So. But from the cold. Rainy weather. That's what, was, that's what I was telling them. Uh, Tacoma's cold and rainy. Yeah. And here it's warm and, and super humid. So right when I walk outside, I'm sweating. Like I'm not used to that, but I gotta get used to it, I guess. You'll get used to it. Because yeah. in Seattle, summer is pretty hot too. Yeah, it's hot. It's, it's not humid, but it's, it gets pretty warm in the summer. Yeah, yeah. I love summer in Seattle. It's so nice. beautiful. Super, super nice. Yeah. People that don't best? know, you gotta go to Seattle in, in the, the summer. One of the best in the country. For sure. Bro, summers, yeah. I was there for three months in the summer. I didn't even want to go home. No, yeah. <laughs> Super nice. The culture, the basketball culture. Yeah, like, like yeah. you were talking about Dom, yeah. IT, all those guys. We got Jamal Crawford, Brandon yeah. Martin. A whole lot of players. So, like, growing up for me, like, being able to watch a lot of those players in college, high school, and the NBA, yeah. and then learn from guys like Isaiah Thomas, Abdul Gaddy, were huge for me coming up. So, those guys have been really helpful during my career. But you, did you go to high school in Seattle? Uh, Gig Harbor, Washington, which is right next to Tacoma. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. But shout out to Paolo Banquero. That, that's my favorite player. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite that's player right now. Yeah. He's, he's cold. He is cold, he's bro. Cold, yeah. But Jaquari, thank you so much, man. Hey, looking forward to watch you, man. We're going to support right. you, man. You yes, know, sir, get, get us a lot of win, man. Nah, I will. <laughs> Glad to be out here. Glad yeah, guys, out here don't forget to sure. follow, man. Uh, Jaquari, what's your handle for Instagram? J Rock, J R O C three underscore. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's J Rock, man. Appreciate Follow you, man. That. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, thank you, bro. Right, bro. Appreciate you, man. Third take <laughs> with the newest Peter J Rock, <laughs> Justin Brownlee. Just man. welcome to Indonesia, man. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you for your time. How you been, man? I'm doing good, man. It's good. I was just glad to be here. Uh, happy for the opportunity. This is your third day. Third day. How's everything going? It's going smooth. Uh, thanks to the team, uh, the management. Uh, you know, everybody has been welcoming, and it's um, just great to be here, man. It's been an easy, easy uh, welcome and transition, you know, coming here. Man, we are so happy. We are so blessed to have Justin Brownlee, you know, going to represent Mr. Jay Baki, of course, Indonesia. This is kind of shocking news for everybody, because like me, I know you're... I thought you have a lifetime contract with Hinebra. <laughs> I never thought you're gonna play for another team other than Hinebra. Uh, just can you just talk about the story about how the process and what makes you interested in this opportunity playing for Putajai? Uh, well, the opportunity came um, after the FIBA window. Okay. It was presented to me. Um, Coach Richard back in um, Minerva, who is actually the head assistant, and um, he's the uh, team manager for the national team, Jesus. Uh, he presented me the opportunity, and um, it was just a great opportunity. And um, me understanding how we're finding out how big basketball here and um, the way the fans support it. Um, similar to, uh, and the team as well, Pel uh, Peloton J. Uh, I heard it's familiar, uh, similar to how Nebra is in um, the Philippines, so I just couldn't pass up on an opportunity. I know, we're, 
Oh my god, we are so excited. And then I texted Japs right away. Jap and Aguilar, after you make the move, I was like, Jap, we got your boy, man. And Japs was like, hey, you better take him, my boy. I was like, I got you, I'm like, I got you. But uh, did you ever imagine, though, playing outside the Philippines? This is your first time, right, playing in other league in Southeast Asia, right? I did an ABL. Uh, yeah, yeah, in Southeast Asia, yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't think, you know, um, to be honest, I, I didn't think about it. Uh, especially, you know, I'm a little older, and uh, at this point in my career, I thought it would just be, you know, a never for the rest of the way in Guinness. But uh, like I said, man, I'm ecstatic and very happy for the opportunities. Man, um, you got here three days ago, you said, you told me. Um, you're going to make your debut this weekend yeah. against Ron's Simba Bogor. Just how familiar are you with the system, with the coaches, and also with the players so far? Coach has been doing a really good job uh, as far as explaining me uh, the way the way we want to play and, you know, uh, the plays and how the system is ran. So I'm getting more comfortable every day. You know, uh, it's definitely unfamiliar for me now, but uh, I think in due time, in no time, I think uh, I'll definitely be acclimated with everything and how everything's ran. Bro, it's going to be a sold-out crowd, I bet. This really? weekend. Really? Everybody gonna come to see you, man. I didn't, I, didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know, but I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Everybody, man, from people from the Philippines hitting me up, from Abu Dhabi, from wow. everywhere, from Middle East, they were shocked, man, that you coming to Indonesia, man. So this is, you guys, you're making a big buzz coming to Indonesia. So wow. better be ready for the crowd this weekend. But you used to it, though. Philippines, they got crazy love for basketball. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Philippines, man, they love basketball. <laughs> but similar to how I heard here, you know, the fans, they really enjoy basketball. So, you know, that's something I definitely appreciate. And I can't wait to feel the energy. And you familiar with some of the guys. They yep, play yep. in the PBA. Yep, yep. T-Rob, KJ McDaniels. Yep. Both of those guys, they played in, incredible players, you know. Uh, they came to the PBA and, and did great. You know, uh, KJ, he, he's uh, been, uh, he played, uh, I want to say, three, and Lex and three stints. Yeah. And Lex and Rob, yeah. And Tommy Tex Tom as well. Tommy Tex as well, yeah. Very tough competitor, and I, you know, T-Rob as well. I just can't wait to share the court with my guy. Is, can we call this a super team? <laughs> I'll let, you know, I let you guys, the media, and the fans decide that. But uh, I don't want to, you know, definitely overhype it. But you know, I think we're definitely confident, you know, in the team and what we can do. Have you ever played with two high-level play like this alongside with you? I don't. I don't think so. Uh, you know, back in ABL, I played with Ronaldo Bachman. You won a championship. Uh, oh yeah, we won a championship with him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think other than that, uh, well, Mighty Sports, I played with uh, Hashim Tabit oh, wow. and um, uh, Dominique uh, McGuire. Oh, wow. So uh, those two guys were NBA guys, too. But, you know, obviously, uh, KJ and uh, t Rod right now, they're in the prime of their careers. So uh, it's definitely going to be great, man. Okay. Oh, he is fasting. I didn't even know. Thank Thank you. You. Oh, here. My guy, Justin Brownlee, the legend, the myth, the one only. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank That's you. Hey, thank I didn't know, I didn't know, my bad. You can you can break your fast. You good. <laughs> we have Ramadan Kai in the NBA. So will we get Ramadan oh, Brownlee <laughs> in the IBL? <laughs> man. Man, for sure, man. Uh, I hope so, man, but what Kyrie is doing is amazing though, man. Uh, definitely without, you know, nothing in his stomach, no food, no water, nothing to drink. It's amazing, you know what I'm saying? I can hope, maybe, hopefully I can be like that, but uh, I don't know, man. But back to the conditioning. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, since the Asian qualifier, you know, that was my last game. Of course, I've been practicing with a never practicing, but as we know, games are different. So, of course, I don't expect to be top conditioned, but uh, I think, uh, Keep working on it, maybe a few games in or a couple games in, I think I can be back to uh, not 100% conditioning, but close. But how tough is it though, to practice during Ramadan and you fasting, so how tough is that? Man, it's tough, it's uh -huh. tough. Uh, the past couple of days definitely have been um, hard, I would say. Um, it, but but I would say this as well, uh, practicing in the evenings is a lot better, you know, um, than practicing in the morning when you have to fast and things like that. But, uh, you know, uh, it's some exceptions where, not exceptions, I won't say exceptions, but I would say it's, if we have practice in the morning, it's, it's just very tough, you know, from the dehydration yeah. and stuff like that. So sometimes, you know, you may have to break it, but uh, 
uh, you can you can go back and make it up. You know, any days I gotta make up, I definitely make it up. And last question, I've been wanting to ask you this. Can you walk around in the mall in Manila? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of tough, but uh, I love embracing the fans, you know, taking pictures and stuff like that. Um, but I also love my privacy as well, but you know, um, just playing in there, uh, playing in the Philippines, uh, it's been great. And um, any time or any chance I can give back to the fans, even if it's just a picture or maybe even a few words, uh, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy it. Justin, right. we are so lucky to have you. And thank you so much for being so patient with the interview. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I really appreciate you and good luck uh, in the IBL and also BCL. Thank you. Man. Uh, man, I, I will see you again soon, man. See you, man. See you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Justin. Thank you.